Excellency President, Excellency First Lady, Excellency Deputy President, I have been caught unawares the last three days. I've been ambushed at the last minute to say something. But yesterday I talked about the military and family man. Today I want to talk about the son of Alego. You know, Your Excellency, even up to yesterday, people were still speculating, oh, President appointed him because of this, oh, President appointed I want to clear the air with the conversations I had with my father about his time with the President. Uh, he didn't really divulge any national security issues, but generally I feel it's important to first of all clear the air. The President didn't have to appoint him first of all, and initially, he saw his competencies and decided that this is the man for the job. But very quickly, they started becoming friends and they formed a serious chemistry, which he would tell me, I have had a very good meeting with the boss. You know, tell me what it is. And it's not the president alone. The deputy president as well really enjoyed his company. They formed a serious working security relationship of securing the country and his cabinet secretary. These people became like brothers. I've seen, oh, someone on Twitter saying, oh, it was these rules, oh, the president was in a corner. And I actually feel bad for the three of them because I know it went beyond the working relationship and they are working to change this country very seriously. And it's a serious blow to the three of them. That one I'm saying, I talked to him personally. None of, you, none of you know that information, but I know he had a very, very good working relationship with His Excellency. Na ata niliona Excellency jana umeshika macho kidogo, watu wakasema hii ni machozi ya crocodile, these are fake. In my heart, from what I know, I know it was genuine. I know it was genuine. <laughs> now, when it comes to this area, the president mentioned, actually deputy president mentioned yesterday, they came for a working tour and decided to come to our home for lunch and we relaxed for the whole evening. He spent four or five hours with us and there were many discussions. One of the discussions I had with both Excellency Deputy President and the President was a project which I pitched to both of them and they really encouraged me. Now, this project, Your Excellency, I didn't tell you the main purpose of it and the end goal. The end goal was to change the lives of the people of Nyanza. We, I had an elaborate plan that in the next two, three years, all these primary schools you're seeing here to be fully rehabilitated. We had plans to build many more churches. We had plans for everyone to clean water, to have clean water. You don't have to be a politician to make a difference to your country. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Sometimes the politicians make so much noise, but the results, we can't see them. And that one I'm not afraid of saying. Your Excellency, this mandate was given to me by God himself more than 14 years ago. I took my dad and I made him take me to all the graves of all the great Luo leaders around. We went to Jaramogi's home, we went to Acheng Oneko's home, we went to Robert Oko's home, I was privileged to meet the wife. And Your Excellency, God put something in my heart to change the lives of the people in this region. I'm making a public announcement today. And it is nothing political, I'm not interested in politics because I have a plan both excellencies are aware of it. All I am asking for is their continued support. And nita waita mfungwe mashule na makanisa yeri mpaka museme yue metosha. Ata sasa toka yeri ukuje saidietu. That one, your excellency, I commit to you. Before God, the public and the president, I will change this area. 
In fact, my first school that I wanted to start working on was is Pap Nyadiel, just down the road. But my father, having been brought here, this will be my first place. And Your Excellency, so knowing your working relationship with him, let me just put this to rest. As a family and as a community, we thank you for putting your trust in general. Uh, you are not lucky to come by road. You came, I think, by helicopter. But on the road, people from all the counties on the way here, Kisumu, all the markets along the road, they are bidding farewell to the general. They didn't even know him, some of them, but they've lost a son of the land. And he was a great man. And the only way I can continue his legacy is by what I've said. Because if we're in, I think it's Equatorial Guinea, where when a general dies, I would just walk to the coffin, take his ranks and medals, and I start giving orders to the generals there. Sasa wewe kamata ile pale, kamata ile pale. But because we live in a democracy, unfortunately, I may not be able to wear his ranks. <laughs> so, Your Excellency, once again, thank you very much. Now, what to watch a kusema is omane nozao at yo, he did this, this. These guys were friends in state house. Nyinyi amjai kuenda huko. Mimi mzendo alikuwa na napenda president sana. They were good friends. So, yo maneno from today, unless you're quoting me, Mwachane nayo. Na kwanza yo bloggers always posting those things. Let me just say, Your Excellency, when my mom called me and told me your dad has gone down in a helicopter crash, they are very useless bloggers. You're so quick to post pictures. I've been told by my mother my father has gone down. Ten minutes later, I'm seeing a helicopter burning. What does that mean? Of course he's dead. And people are so insensitive. So you broke the news. Umepewa EGH for breaking the news that the general is dead. Let us be sensitive. Tafadhali, bloggers, watch your media. Mombiwa bloggers, watch your mcheso. I'd mentioned them by name. Lakini yo, yo tabia pana. And I really want to appreciate, I won't mention the person who finally told me Mze has rested and really encouraged me in that moment and told me, now is the time to be strong. Kwa hayo mengi na machache, mabibibi na mabwana, asante nisan. That was the CIA tribute. Yesterday was a military one. On Friday during his memorial, we have very many stories about General which would have everyone laughing for very many minutes. So hopefully you can join us then as well. As Santeni Sana. Thank you very much, Joel. Your Excellency, the son of a general, speaks like a general. Let's give him one more round of applause as he takes his seat. And we now move from the family and we want to have a church representative. And on behalf of the church, let me call Mr. Philip Opio, who is going to speak on behalf of the church. Mr. Philip Opio, kindly, if you may advance, so that you may give the remarks on behalf of the church. After that, we'll move then to the military. The Excellency, the President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the mourners present, I want to greet you in the name of the Lord. I'm a member of the church, St. Thomas Church. We used to be in the church with the general, and he impressed us so much. On 31st, he was there, 31st. Last month, we were with him. He took the Holy Communion. It was an ordinary church. All of us were there. And my purpose to come here is to give his contribution to the church. But his contribution is anchored on the following. The late was a contributor based on Matthew 6, 
verses 2 to 4. And I want to repeat. Matthew 6, verses 2 to 4. And I quote verse 3. But when you do charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. That was the general. He did a lot of in our village, in our church. But he never wanted it to be mentioned. Now that I'm here, I will apologetically say the following that the general did. With apology, please. His contribution in the church started way back in 1980 when he was a youth. The general, the general, the general Christmas and Easter envelope, in Anglican we have envelopes, always reached the church of St. Thomas. In 1990s, he intensified his contribution towards the church development. The climax came 